Our leveling up is a philosophy that deals with self-development. The main part of this philosophy is understanding your hidden potential. It's like it's a little idea, right? That formulates other thoughts. Why is this important? Because inside everyone is a leader. Everyone has something that they can create. But in order to create it, you have to know that it's there. All right? So the art of leveling up deals with six concepts, all right? And so we're going to talk about the six concepts of the philosophy today. These are the six foundational concepts of it, all right? So the first concept that we're going to deal with is center, okay? So what is center? Okay, center is the thing that reflects who you are the most, all right? Center deals with power. It deals with balance, okay? When you think of center, think about, think about the thing that, that matters to you the most. Think about your inner self, your inner being, right? Because at the center of everything, that's where your true control lies, right? The more you understand about who you are within, the more relaxed you are, the more comfortable you are. Even talking to people, thinking about things, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're less stressed. You know, the people who understand who they are, they're the ones who are going to excel in life, right? And I wish this is a concept that most people really understood, right? Have you ever thought about that? Yes. Okay, so what is your center? My center is my family, um, my wife included. Um, when my days are rough, um, I can just go to my family, and they, and they don't know how my day was. And it just makes me feel, you know, comfortable. You know, I'm comfortable where I'm at. Yeah. Where my center. If you never really think about what you believe in, or if you don't have like some type of grounding, you know what I mean? You're, you're, labeled, you're liable to just end up anywhere, you know? You don't know where you're going, right? That's what you work for. You know, you work to, to get somewhere, you know? That's what center is. When we talk about center in the self-defense aspect, you want to ground yourself. You want to be ready for whatever happens, right? You want to be relaxed, calm, right? Because self-defense ultimately is about control. Self-development is the same way. It's ultimately about control, controlling your destiny, controlling where you're going, all right? Not being controlled, but being in control, right? Think of this, right? When you're angry, you get tensed, you know? The more tense you are, the harder it is to move. So you move slowly, you, you, you think irrationally, you don't think straight, right? Anger, <laughs> you make a lot of mistakes when you're angry. Why? It's because you're, you're not relaxed, right? You're not centered, you're imbalanced, right? That's why it's important to understand center, like this concept of center, very important, very important, all right? Because like I said before, it deals with balance. All right? What balances you? Let me ask you that, if you don't mind. If you're stressed out, right, what do you do to balance yourself? The one thing I do is I work out, I read a book, I think about what happened. Um, Self-care. Basically, I got to take care of myself even more, you know, when I'm stressed out. So why, why do you work out? I work out to, you know, to relieve stress and it gets your mind going. Uh, the, the one thing I like to work out, running um, is the best workout for me because uh, even the stuff that you don't think about comes up in your mind because the running is so challenging, you know. Yeah. There's nothing to think about but whatever happened in your life and everything just purges when you run. So running is the best exercise for me. Yeah, and that's good because meditation and reflection that's going to help you realize and find your center. It's deep diving, you know? It's like in order to really understand who you are, you have to meditate. You have to consider. You have to reflect, you know? You have to think about your past as well as your future, you know? And that's so important, man. That's so important because most times they don't teach us this. When we're growing up, who told you, which teacher told you to find your center? You know what I'm saying? Not much. The ones who really cared told you to find yourself right 
That's what true education really is. It's knowing who you are. That's when you're truly educated. And that's why this is the most important concept in the art of leveling up, right? Because without this concept, all the other ones don't matter, right? But once you can understand center, it's going to free you, right, of worry. It's going to free you of regret, okay? It's going to free you of anger, you know? It's going to free you of self-doubt, you know? Not to say that these things won't come up. They will. But that's why you need to know how to counterbalance, right? Balancing is about counterbalancing as well because you're going to get knocked back, right? Think about if someone, you know, attacks you. It's not just a physical attack. People can attack you verbally as well. Say, oh, your mama is so fat. She da 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 da, right? And that, that, that's your center right there, right? Family. When someone talks about your mama, what happens, right? You get upset. You're like, oh, don't talk about my mama. Yo, who you think you are? That happens to everyone, right? They're attacking your core. They're trying to knock you off, right? So that's why you need to learn how to counterbalance, right? And the more you understand your center, your core, you're going to understand how to counterbalance, right? And the core to everyone, the physical core for every human being is right here. This is the core, right? This is where you gain your power from. That's why center is important because that's where your true power comes from. It comes from within you. Within everyone is a kingdom, okay? And I'm not going to get too preachy, but this is, Jesus says that the kingdom of God is within you, right? Within everyone, there's a kingdom in there. That's where your true potential is, right? And what's a kingdom, right? A kingdom is a nation, okay? A kingdom is a government of laws. It's a system of beliefs, right? Jesus wasn't, wasn't preaching religion. He was preaching about a kingdom. His main message was repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He didn't say you need to get religion. He said you need to find a relationship. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to, he, try, he, he tried to tell people that the true power was within them. And that's what people miss. The people are missing that. They think that you know, if they want to get better, they need to go somewhere. They need to find something, right? Not realizing that all they need to do is look within. That's where every, your, your answers are. That's the first step you should be doing, right? If you want something done, what do you do? You don't go ask people, what do you think about this? What do you think I should do? No, you should sit down and start reflecting, asking yourself, looking within, right? That's what, when, when you're talking about prayer, right? Prayer is a very, it's a very isolated thing, right? It's not like Jesus says, don't go pray where everyone can see you. He says, when you pray, go in your closet, shut the door, close the lights, and pray in secret, right? Because it's, it's a deep diving. It's something very personal. It's not something that you tell everyone. It's something that's between you and God, your creator. That's it. You should learn how to pray for yourself, right? Because prayer is like petitioning God. You know what I'm saying? Kind of digressed a little bit. But that's, that's the most important thing. The most important thing of center, like I said, is finding the power within. All right? So now let's go.